so yun naman, baka hindi ka pa nagsusubscribe isunod mo na rin yung notification bell para lagi kang updated pag may i-upload akong video i-like and share mo na rin, salamat Pag masdang mabuti ang mga arrangement ng molecules ng matter. Ito ay sa solid, liquid, at saka sa gas. We are now on the third grading period. Follow the MEP or the most essential learning competencies. So what are they? Explain the properties of solid, liquid, and gas based on the particle of matter. So, what are the things that we are going to uh, study? So, it's all about the properties of solid, liquid, and gas based on the particle of nature. So, we have here the pictures of solid and then we have the liquid and then we have gas what did you notice class on these uh, three different figures ang isang solid ay nananatili ang bukis nito ang maliliit na mga butil katulad nito ay hindi malayang bagay ay gawa ng mas maluwag na nakapak na mga particle na katulad ng nalito sa softness. O kaya dito sa mineral water. Ang lipido ay sinusunod niya ang hugis ng lalayan. Ang gas naman ay binubuo ng maliliit na butil na nakapak. Ito kanina yung solid, ito yung ang gas, katulad ng larawan na ito ay bagay na binubuo ng mga maliliit na butin at maluwag at wala itong tinutukoy na butis o isang tinutukoy na dami sinusunod din ito ang lalagyan pero makikita mo dito na Ganyan natin, nakita mo ba yung air? Hindi. Kasi po, ang air ay colorless. Look at this different GIF images. It's fun, isn't it? The learner should be able to identify and describe the classification of matter based on its physical state. Ano yun? So, it should be solid, liquid, or gases. We are going to differentiate the structure of solid, liquid, and gas based on its shape, volume, molecular arrangement, mass, movement of molecules, the boiling point, the melting point, the density, and the specific the first property is shape and molecular structure. This box is in rectangular shape. Due to some forces, this box will deform. The molecular arrangement of solid, liquid, and gas, as we have seen a while ago, we have here as compacted or dikit-dikit ang mga molecules yan ay sa solid ito naman ay hiwa-hiwalay ang mga molecules at ang pinakahuli ay ang magkakahiwalay na mabilis ang kanyang kinetic energy ang ibig sabihin nun ang gas ang may pinakamabilis ang kinetic energy gusto niyang kumawala kung saan-saan basta i-fill up niya yung buong kinalalagyan niya. Properties and characteristics that describe an example of matter. 
So mass is the measure of each sample of matter. How about volume? Volume is the measure of the space occupied by an object. So tatandaan mga anak, yan yung dalawang pinaka-importante properties na meron ang matter. Kailangan meron siyang mass o bigat. Kailangan meron, nag-o-occupy siya ng space. Yung dalawa na yan, suffice the properties of matter. In measuring mass and volume, we will going to use some instrument. Wave scale. Ito po, yung wave scale. So, in measuring the volume, we have two types. Measuring volume of liquid and measuring volume of a solid. In measuring the volume of a regular solid, we will go into measure the width, the height, and the length. So, width, the length, and the height. So, this is in regular solid. Okay, in getting the mass of an object, we will go into use. So, kailangan nakatulong talaga siya. Anything that is solid can be measured on this kind of measuring device. Okay, in measuring liquid, we will going to use some kind of beaker. Sa kusina ko lang ito. Okay, you will notice that it has 500 ml. In this 500 ml, katumbas po dyan sa bottled water na Tulad ng sinabi natin kanina, it fa liquid follows the shape of the container. Okay. So, we will go into pour. This is for 1 liter. Papakita ko sa inyo mamaya na ang isang liter o isang litro ay katumbas ng isang kilo. So, if this is half or 500 ml, Okay, we'll, we'll pour the 500 ml here. In this shape, no? Tingnan nga natin kung itong 500 ml na to ay totoong 500 ml din sa panibagong lagay. Kung mapapansin nyo, class, no? Mapunta man siya sa iba-ibang lagayan, siya rin po ay merong volume. So, ibig sabihin, ang liquid ay may specific volume. And it follows the shape of the container. So, ngayon naman, papatunayan natin sa inyo na ang isang litrong tubig ay katumbas ng isang kilo. Pag ilalagay natin doon sa atin. Okay, ito na kanina yung isang litrong tubig. Okay, lipat natin sa plastic. Tingnan natin kung totoo isang kilogram siya. Yan, hindi siya pwede. Okay, so it is one kilogram. We will going to uh, examine or experiment the boiling point of water. We know very well that the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Pag na-reach niya na yung 100 degrees na yan, that is pure water ha. Pag na-reach na niya yung 100 degrees na yan, kahit kulong, kumukulo na kumukulo siya hanggang 100 degrees Celsius lang siya. So, try natin ang boiling point na isa. Boiling point. Kung napapansin nyo, ito yung mga water vapor na nabuo kaninang nag-inla. Tignan natin ang mangyayari ngayon. Makakabuha ba tayo? A few moments later. So we will going to test the boiling point of water. So kung mapapansin nyo at the bottom, yung mga molecules ng water ay begin exciting. So that is the exciting atom of the water. So kung makikita nyo siya, yan na, na-reach na niya yung 100 degrees Celsius at makikita mo yung kanyang mga yung kanyang water vapor. So, from liquid, it turns into gas. Itong tubig na ito,
makaubos man yan, siya po ay nag-transform into another form and that is water vapor. Melting point. Kita niyo siya. Okay, so bakit ganon? Kasi it absorb the heat from the surrounding. Kasi kanina ito nasa freezer. So, minamaintain niya yung kanyang freezing uh, state. Pero nang ilabas ko siya dito sa surroundings na mainit, it begins to melt. Density of matter. kita nyo ice is less dense than water so ibig sabihin denser ang water ibig sabihin lang yan six, mas siksik ang mga molecules ng tubig kesa po sa yellow kaya nasa ibabaw ang color of matter Some other properties of matters are the color. So you will notice that flowers are red, is small trees as green, the ice cream as in lavender and in yellow. Ang mga texture ng balat ng mga prutas na ito ay magkakaiba. Fruits such as papaya and pineapple have different hardness. The plastic ruler is flexible. Handa na ba kayo sa pagsusulit? Ihanda ang notebook at sabayan niyo ako sa pagsagot. Ito naman ang fill in the blanks. Matter occupies number one, space. All matter have number two, blank, have mass and volume. The blank of an object is a measure of the amount of matter the object has. Okay, again, number three, the answer is mass. The measure of the space that occupied by an object is called number four, volume. The characteristics that describe a sample of matter is called properties.